Good. Well, when we lived down in Pomeroy, or Pomeroy, Ohio, that was a pretty place near the river. And what happened was, oh my goodness, I went through this story. I guess people like it so much because it's real and it did happen because the way I explain it, I guess is the blast. <laughs> we go down and we helping these people out. She was cleaning the house. We was doing the outside work, man, Randy raking leaves and stuff and she's in there sweeping mopping and doing this old lady's dishes because she wasn't really able to do it so uh, he wasn't either too well but we had done the work of them that they couldn't do for him and made forty dollars and what it was uh, mommy got mad because we went down there helping them people and not up there helping her so daddy she said we'll go down and get them they put me down there robbing that old man and woman to get uh, uh, drug money he said, well, I'm going to drag them right now and drag their goddamn ass back up here where they need to clean this house to somebody else's. Went down there to get us, and here he come, man. He said, y'all get your ass now. Get out of here. He didn't do nothing, no room for them. He was just giving us the orders. We came out and said, okay, we took, didn't say a word. We just done what he told us. We started home. He said, God damn, I ought to worry out this. He said, but I'm going to tell you one thing. You do this again, I'm going to cut the goddamn blood out of you. I'm tired of fooling y'all. Your mommy needs you down there, I told uh, Bo, buddy, call her buddy. So said, your mommy needs her down there. All right, we got down the road there, not too far from the farmer's place or where we was cleaning and stuff. And I mostly went along, too, to look for lighter fluid, you know, when I was younger. <laughs> to get on a trip, man, I want to hit cloud nine like the Woodstock race. <laughs> So what it was, we take off walking, and here as a skunk goes across the road, we weren't paying no mind. We didn't have time to smell it. I guess it didn't hit us full on, it was just, it didn't even got to spray it. You know, you usually smell a skunk when you see one across the road, but I guess it wasn't in enough danger to spray anything. So he said, y'all catch that possum there. He said, I'll give you five dollars. Crazy us, here we go, me on lighter flood. God, I hope you don't know it. But, you know, it's all, it's just a routine anyway. So we go to catch the son of a bitch and hit pisses in our face on our clothes. Oh, he burnt my eyes. Oh my God, get me, oh God, get me some water. Hit stayed on us, our clothes for a whole week. And we thought we was turning into a skunk. <laughs> and man, it was raunchy. <laughs> what your dad say afterwards? He said, I can't help a few boy, uh, guys don't know the difference of skunk and possum. They might thought he'd start dying of laughing. <laughs> I said, oh my God, no. He told me, Mark and Dorsey, he said, y'all run around the house 10 times. And there'll be a baby calf, uh, twin calves for you. Two white calves will be following you. Here we tuck off and running, buddy, jogging. Getting around there, let's count the laps. Cause I ain't seen nothing yet of you. We was talking about jogging like I said, I ain't seen a damn thing yet. We got around there and I said, we all come in here. And he said, you asked him. I said, I'm going to. I said, daddy, where's them uh, two white cats? She said that uh, would follow us. We done 10 laps around the house. He said, well, buddy, I can't help if you don't know the difference in a calf, your legs. <laughs>